Mm-hmm. I didn't have a switching layout with block control until I was, well, until I was about 35. Oh, oh, don't switch it while the train is across it. Don't ever switch it while there's a train across it. So did you? No. You can move the train forward. Okay. Okay, stop. Now switch it the correct way. Great job. Look at that. I never had that when I was a kid. I had one switch with a spur, but it was always off or I had to hardwire it. I didn't have a switch a control for it. So I would back the train up and it would die and then I'd have to push it back by hand to switch trains around. Yep. I had a cooler layout though, but this is the start. I did this a couple years ago and then it's been sitting in the basement and I just got some new stuff which inspired me to bring it out again. And Emily's having fun. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're gonna have to build a t table for in the basement. Bigger than this. Or we could just use the whole kitchen table. Yeah. These are my old locomotives from when I was a kid, and then I just got this one, and I think I burned it up. Or it was already burned up, but bummer. These cars are all new. I got a Katie and a uh, Santa Fe Caboose and another stock car. I love stock cars. And this little gondola has been giving us problems with decoupling. And then I have all my old stuff is still in the box over there. And HO stuff. Got some new HO stuff. A couple of locomotives. A couple box cars. There's a big Amtrak coach somewhere. Oh, I guess in here. And then a couple other cars. That one. Those are mostly toy grade, but there's a couple nice locomotives there. So, I have to set up an HO layout too. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard work, huh?